I'm Graham Winter, a psychologist, uh, author and consultant. Uh, spent a number of years with PwC Consulting, was chief psychologist for uh, three Australian Olympic teams um, and founded uh, the consultancy Think One Team International. A performance culture is uh, one of those things so many organisations talk about uh, and, and frankly I find a lot of the ones that talk about it haven't got it and a lot of the ones that don't talk about it and think they haven't actually have. So to me the test is, uh, look I'd put it down to three things, I think uh, uh, yeah, organisations have got a performance culture, absolutely work as one team, so there's a strong connection between their organisation. Uh, I think the second, they have great conversations uh, around expectations and, and alignment and collaboration. And the third and arguably the most important is feedback's just a, a key part of everything they do. So they're just constantly learning and debriefing. I think people in the industry are yeah, interested in leadership models and teamwork models, but fundamentally what they're looking for are, are practical things. And you know, when we talk to organisations and say, you know, high performance culture is a one team culture, we'll often hear them say, yeah, we work as one team when we've got a crisis, or well, we don't tend to do it when we, when we haven't. And I think it's interesting if you think about well, what happens in a crisis. Well, there are three types of conversations, and I think organisations can use these to think about the tools they want to use to, to build leadership and teamwork. So if you think about this, some alignment conversations, so if there's a crisis, what's happening, who needs to do what, how are we going to handle that, what are the values, the principles, the actions, the priorities. Uh, the second's around how do we collaborate, what are we going to do around problems, opportunities, how are we going to move around that. And then the third one is the, the learning, the debriefing, what's worked, what hasn't worked, how do we realign again. I don't think everything in an organisation needs to be top down and many of the most successful uh, particularly Think One Team programs that we've done with organisations have started within divisions. So it might be in a manufacturing division, might be in a mine site, uh, you're working in a sales team. Um, and because that works and it's effective, you're developing the ability of those leaders and teams to, to lead and build and connect their teams. Um, so they then start to draw others in and, uh, and I'd say in many cases, it's actually more powerful and, and one of the things I look at is a lot of organisations run lean programs. Lean's very effective. Lean's rarely introduced from the top. It's almost always introduced as a pilot, supported by the top, but it, it lives or dies on its, its impact on the business and, and I think leadership and team programs need to do the same.